Hey, hey, it's Berta J. And you're back in my kitchen with me today to share with you something that I am so thankful it's done. A while ago, I showed you a plate with some brownie brittle, some brownie bites on it. So I'm going to tell you how it's done. You take the fat-free brownie recipe on my channel, you cut it in half, and then I have two ingredients that you add. Do not worry and start to tremble because everything will be written in the recipe below in the description box. Once you do that, you get a cookie sheet, a, not really a cookie sheet, we call them cookie sheets, but it's a jelly roll pan. You need this edge. Then you're going to parchment line it and you're gonna take that half of the fat-free brownie recipe and plop it into on top of that parchment paper. Use a spatula. If you've got a spatula with a nice sharp edge, spread it out, spread it out as thin as you can. I'm gonna show you how thin it is. Then you let it bake 20 minutes in a 350 degree oven that you preheated. Once it comes out, let it cool a bit. And then you have two choices, to make it into brittle or just to keep it as a brownie. They're just gonna be very thin brownies like this. Sometimes you want a small piece of something sweet, maybe a couple of little pieces like a cookie, and this could be the answer for you. You could either do brittle or you could do little pieces of, and it's soft, okay? So I'm gonna put those over here. And they peel off so nicely with this, with the parchment paper. Or you can do, you've cut it, you put it, place it on your, the sheet in your uh, dehydrator. Now I've already done it, so here's some pieces just like the ones I just cut. And you put them on your cookie sheet and you put the temperature you use is the first temperature on your, your temperature gauge on your dehydrator. On mine, I just turn it until it turns on. When it finally turns on, which is about 93, not 95, 93, turn it to about 93 and then slide it in and let it dehydrate for 35 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes. And when you finish, you will have, listen to this. Can you hear it? You get crunchy little pieces of brownie brittle. And it's so good because I'm Berta J. I do things a little bit different. Now, you can either take these and cut them into little perfect little squares, or you can do what I like to call free form. Now here's one, kind of looks like a weird potato chip. What you do is you just lift it off the paper, which it will come off very, very easily once you let it cool. And you just start tearing it. These I call free form. You don't have to cut them. They'll be just as good in this uh, a strange shapes. Now, what I think would work very, very nicely is if you cut it big enough, keep it soft, put your ice cream here, your vegan ice cream or your nice cream, and then tear off another piece, plop that on the top and you have a little ice cream sandwich, okay? Now, that's just another idea. I've been doing this for a while to get this recipe correct. And one of the things that's very important is how you store the crunchy ones. Because what I found out is if you store it in a plastic container, the soft ones will stay, stop, will stay soft, not a problem. But the crunchy ones will get soft again. So this is what, we, what you do. It's old fashioned, but it works perfectly. Wax paper. Take your crunchy ones, store it in a paper bag, just a brown paper bag. Roll it down and clip it. This is what I've, been, I've done with these for the last three days to see if they would stay crunchy. So I'll unwrap it, you see it's kind of wrinkled. Three days. Still crunchy. Slide it into your bag and just roll it down. That's how you store it. That's really the end of the video. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in a comment and I'll do my best to, um, to answer it. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe.
click on the bell so that every time a new video is uploaded, you will get the notification. And don't forget to leave me some comments below, okay? And so until then, bye for now. Thank you.